Welcome to our lecture online. Now, in the previous video, we saw a whole bunch of examples where an object was partially submerged and we found the relationship between the density of the object and the density of the liquid. For example, if one fifth of the object is below the surface and four fifths is above the surface, using the portion that's below the surface, we then realized that the density of the object is equal to one fifth the fraction of the object below the surface times the density of the liquid, or the density of the liquid is five times the density of the object. Now, if we take the top equation right here and solve this for the ratio of the density of the object, of the block, divided by the density of the liquid, then we get one-fifth, which then is the fraction of the object below the surface. So simply said, the ratio of the density of the object divided by the density of the liquid is going to be equal to the fraction of the object that's below the surface. Now, if we want to know the fraction of the, of the object above the surface, that will be 1 minus the fraction below the surface. So in this case, the fraction above the surface is going to be 1 minus the ratio of the density of the block divided by the density of the liquid. Now let's do an example to see if we understand this. Let's say that we have the liquid is water, so the density is 1, and let's say the density of the block is 0.6. How do we figure out the fraction below and the fraction above? Well, let's start with the fraction below. The fraction below is equal to the ratio of the density of the block divided by the density of the liquid. In this case, it would be the density of the water. So this would be 0.6 divided by 1, or 6 tenths, or 0.6. So that's the fraction of the object that's below the surface. So in the case of an object and water, whatever the density is of the object, that will be the fraction that's below the surface. Now, if you want to know the fraction above the surface, that's equal to 1 minus the fraction below. So in this case, that would be 1 minus 0.6 which is equal to 0 0.4. So that would be the fraction above the surface, and this would be the fraction below the surface. And it's as easy and simple as that. Notice that if we're dealing with the liquid being water, which that means the density is 1, that the fraction below is simply equal to the density of the object, and 1 minus that is equal to the fraction that's above the surface. And that is how it's done.